Over the last few months, we've seen a spate of reporting about how unpopular Kamala Harris is. We've heard how her staff doesn't get along with the president's staff, how there's rivalries within the White House, how her poll numbers are down, how she, how she hasn't adjusted to the job as vice president. Most of this is simply insider Washington gossip. It's meaningless. Those numbers can turn around very quickly, but there's a little more to it than that. Kamala Harris has a big target on her back, and she's had it since the moment that Joe Biden chose her as his running mate. There are a couple of reasons for this. One is obvious and cannot be overlooked and must be stated. As an African-American woman, there are a lot of people that simply don't want to see somebody like that in the White House as either president or vice president. But that's not the only issue here. The other issue is that politically, a lot of people are gunning for her. The Republicans know that she very well may be the nominee in 2024 or 2028, and to keep her poll numbers down, to make her unpopular now, is the way to make it more difficult for her to win. After all, that's what they did to Hillary Clinton beginning in the 1990s. But also, any ambitious Democrat knows that they have to go through Kamala Harris if they want to be the nominee. So there's an incentive for many of them, whether in the Congress, the Cabinet, or anywhere else, to bring her down. But the issue here is that this only happens because the president lets it happen. Joe Biden could easily say there will be no more leaks from the White House from anyone around me about Kamala Harris. The next person who does it, no matter who it is, will be fired. That would put an end to it. The issue here is also that Biden has to do that, not because he has to be loyal to Kamala Harris or because he owes her anything, although he does, but because if Kamala Harris's poll numbers go down, that's very bad for Joe Biden. The last thing Biden needs is that as he ages and maybe doesn't run for president in 2024, a competitive primary that aims at his legacy, because Harris will be the face of the Biden administration. And if Biden succeeds, then Harris has to succeed. And if Harris can't succeed, that will be seen as a failure of the Biden administration. So whoever, wherever these leaks are coming from, whoever is spreading this information, Joe Biden has to put a stop to this, not for Kamala Harris's good, but for his own good.